Who's your commander? Good luck. Equipped. Move to combat. Resolves. Right. Now, before you attack Does me. anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello, everyone. My name is DJ. This is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. I have a quick video because... TCG Player, the sponsor of the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel, is having a special promotion. They're offering 8% back on all singles on their website, which is a perfect time for you to take a look at what's in my shopping cart. The first card I'm buying is Guardian Project. Three and a green for an enchantment. Whenever a non-coken creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. <laughs> We're playing a singleton format, so if you have a deck full of creatures, you're going to be drawing a lot of cards. In fact, there's a few cards that really imitate this Guardian project. We just had one that I've been raving about, Beast Whisperer. But Beast Whisperer has one clear distinction. The first one is that it's a creature, so that could be pros and cons. It might be easier to get, easier to reanimate, but it might be easier to kill as well. But it says whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Guardian Project just says enters the battlefield, and that's the clear distinction. Well, we can draw a ton of cards with creatures entering the battlefield. Any creature that enters the battlefield and bounces, like Shrieking Drake perhaps, can just be a one mana draw card, return the drake to your hand, play it again for one blue mana. That's amazing card draw right there. Or a card like Deadeye Navigator, blinking another creature out and then entering the battlefield again. Then suddenly Guardian Project is just costing two mana and generating you some card advantage. Or creatures that blink themselves, Aetherling just basically says, uh, pay a blue and draw a card every turn. I mean, this seems really good. But the thing I want to do most with Guardian Project is just pair it with Panharmonicon. That's just the deck I want to have, is just drawing cards and double triggers over and over again. The next card that I'm going to be buying is a weird one. It's Grusilda Monster Masher. Yeah, this is from the most recent Unset, Unstable, and I think I was a little bit unfair when it came to the Silver Border Legendary Creatures. I've played a couple dozen games with my illegal Silver Bordered Grimlock Dinobot Leader deck, and no one is bothered. No one has any objections. Even when I win with Dinosaur Damage, no one is upset. And so that has me thinking, have I really not explored some of these Silver Bordered Commanders that I really want to play just because of their border? I mean, we're a very understanding community, so I'm going to start looking at some Arakdos commanders from the Unstable set. I think I'm going to go with Grusilda Monster Masher, but I'm also very interested in Baron Von Count and the big idea. So we're going to see how those go. My next buy has to do with the newest set coming out, War of the Spark. If you haven't heard in War of the Spark, every single pack is going to have a Planeswalker in it. We're going to get so many new Planeswalkers, so many new Planeswalkers. Some of them are going to be amazing and some of them are going to be bad. And there's going to be cards in the set that synergize with Planeswalkers. And so I thought I might pick up some cards that could also synergize with Planeswalkers. The first thing I thought of was Proliferate because it's so, so good. And Viral Drake is an underrated proliferating mechanic. This is a 4-mana 1-4 flyer with Infect which is very good, by the way. Sometimes all you have to do is infect someone once and you can proliferate them to death. But it has three and a blue, proliferate. You choose any number of permanents, any number of permanents. That means all of the planeswalkers under your control and maybe some on your opponent's side of the board. And then you basically give them another counter. That's another loyalty counter, another infect counter on your opponent, yeah. Proliferate is a very powerful mechanic and I think that it might get even better with more planeswalkers. Similarly, I've also decided to buy just a foil faded retribution. It's super inexpensive right now, and I like the idea of instant speed destroying planeswalkers. I'm I'm actually really excited about that. I think it sounds super fun. Uh, this is not gonna skyrocket in price. Seven mana is way too much for board wipes, but I still like the idea of mass board wipe of planeswalkers. That's also why I like cards like in Garrick's Wake, also really, really expensive. But also Hour of Devastation could be very, very good if people start going planeswalker crazy. 
just two cards left, and one of them is some card draw in red that I've really enjoyed, Grenzo Havoc Razor. This legendary goblin can lead a deck extremely well on his own, but I just really like the ability to goad creatures and to really play your opponent's spells. I've enjoyed that immensely. And that's also why I've enjoyed playing Stolen Strategy, because really, I like playing your deck more than I like playing my own. And the last card has me reminded of Ultimate Masters. I just think that this is a really solid pickup. It's Glenelendra Archmage. This is a 4-mana 2-2 flyer with Persist and a Negate built into the body. I love this in Flicker decks where you can resist the Persist trigger and then keep getting counter spells out of it. Ugh. I also really like the new art, and this card's a little bit of a spoiler for an upcoming video I have that looks at Ultimate Masters and finds out, well, really examines how many good cards are in that set. It's crazy. So if you want something to buy with those 8% off bonus bucks, then you can check out Ultimate Masters too. Speaking of which, TCG Player supports me, and you all can support me too by just clicking on the link in the description. That'll take you to their website and let them know that I brought you there. You should head over there right away because this is a very fast sale. In fact, it ends on March 20th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also have a link to all of these cards, plus a few more in the description of this video. I also want to thank my patrons. There are many of you out there that support me in so many different ways, sharing with your friends, liking videos, retweeting, all sorts of great stuff. So thank you everyone that makes Jumbo Commander successful. And thank you for watching. If you like quick videos like this, let me know in the comments. If you hate them, well, let me know in those comments too. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.